Okay, so we're in the final stretch now. What we've got to work on is having this, when this page scrolls, that our header all changes background color to be solid white, just so we can make out all the content behind it. So what we want to do is open up your text editor of choice. I'm going to use, um, I use brackets in this case. Uh, Atom links directly in with Pine Grow, so you can live edit the content without having to save and refresh, etc., etc. Uh, what we want to do is I'm going to add this. You can add this into your assets under the JavaScript there. I'm going to add this straight under my main root directory for the template. HT, we're working on the HTML, so the where the in front page HTML. So we're going to add in a new file, and I'm going to call this script.js. So like with uh, style.css, script.js is where we'll add in all our custom JavaScript. So we're going to work in jQuery with this one. So let's start with adding in our um, function. Then we'll close that off. And what we'll do is we'll just make sure that we're calling jQuery. No. Okay, so we've got our function loaded there. And let's go and add in our next one. Function. And let's add that in. And once again, we close that off. And now we can start adding in our custom jQuery. So what we want to do is we want to work on the window scroll. So when when the window dot on scroll function. So we're going to add another function here. Uh, if this element. Hang on, that should be dollar that. That's right. If dot this dot scroll top is greater than let's say 100 pixels, so if if the window is scrolls from the top 100 pixels, we want to target the uh, header element. And we want to add some CSS and we want to make the background and let's just make it red for now just so we can make sure we see it properly so it really stands out and then we want to do else um, we want to make the header transparent so if it's not scrolled more than 100 pixels we want to make the header target the header again dot CSS dot background and we want to make it transparent so we want to go RGBA and 255-255-255-0 -255 so white with zero opacity um, that should be it we could close that off so that's loaded into our HTML We've added that in. Let's just go back into our index into Pine Grow. Let's we've got the script down here in the bottom. We'll work. Make sure you're working in the index.html because this is, all gets loaded into the footer. So we want to make sure from the index.html from the master page. So we'll just duplicate that and we'll just go in, right click on it, and go edit the code. And all we need to do is we want to just delete all that and make the source just purely script.js. Let's close and keep the changes let's save that okay and let's export the theme go back to our theme let's hit refresh so we've got our header up here it's transparent and it's not working okay so did I export the theme edit code source script.js let's try refresh I can't see .js in there. Yeah, it's there. Okay. Let's try that again. Refresh. 
Oh, let's go inspect. Check for any unexpected tokens. So we've got an unexpected error here. Uh, let's just check what I've done. We've got this, we've closed off the function here. We'll close that one off. Let's save that. File, save. Okay. Export the theme. Let's try a refresh. Now we've still got that error in here. And close it with it's because of the automatic brackets has been cl closing that off. So now when we see now it's close it. Let's try that. We still got that error. Ah, no error, and we've got a red header. All right, so there we go. It's because of the brackets automatically closing out these functions. Um, all right, so uh, we're back to our site. So we've got transparent. We scroll up. Bingo, that's working. So let's just go and change that script. We don't want it. We don't really want it red. We want it white. File save and export the theme. There we go. So now it's white. You see it's covering that. So there we go. We have our um, on scroll. What we could do is also go inspect. We could add, um, so on the header, move the header, we could add in a drop shadow. And we could go, um, how do we add a drop shadow in again? Let's have a look. Let's just Google that. CSS drop shadow. And let's have a look. So we don't want it. We just want it straight at the bottom. We only want it that much. We don't need to blur it that much. Just blur it that much. Let's just bring it down, minus two pixels. Shadow color we do want in black. It will change the opacity down to say, let's make it 33%. Let's go in there. Let's open up our style.css. No, so what we want to do is on our script.js uh, let's have a look we want so we want webkit drop shadow and the CSS we want is that And then we want Moz. And then we want Box. Let's save that. Let's go File, Save. OK. Export theme. Go Refresh. There we go. We're getting that drop shadow there. So it's a little bit too intense, so let's make it um, uh, let's make it zero point one, zero point one, zero point one. Oops, I saved that in the export the theme. Export the theme. And now we've got that faint, faint box shadow there, which is good. Oh, but it's not working because it is adding it all the time. Right, let's just delete that. Let's just leave it as white. 
save that file save okay export the theme we'll just leave it so there's no box shadow because i didn't want it in there it was just being tricky anyway if you really want it i just want it real white when it scrolls there we go so that wraps that up we've got our on scroll element if we go to the home page making it white when we scroll bingo all right so that pretty much wraps up this tutorial series obviously you know it's not the it's not the prettiest theme um, you know we, you could do a lot more with your uh, index.php for your blog posts um, you could yeah you could just be a lot more creative obviously with your footer you could add in widgets down the bottom to create you know like an about section and things like that you could be a lot more creative you wouldn't sell this to a client you wouldn't it's um, but it gives you a great idea on how you can influence using pine grow into your um, beaver builder custom theme development for developing custom pages so in the next the next process from that you would create your 404 page your search page and if you're using custom post types which you can create directly within beaver builder so under here you can create um where is it no, it must be under posts let's have a look under posts maybe um, mm, 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 mm. No, it's in here. I do not in here. Do not in here. Not in here. I do not in here. Um, custom. Uh, so show me customizer. There is a section in here for creating custom post types. There it is, register post type. So you can create your own custom post type. So if I, I created one here called gallery, or oh, let's say um, projects. Projects and single is project. We make it public. We s support the title, the editor, the thumbnail. And that'll do. And we can add in an icon let's go let's have a look uh, go go here go dash icons let's grab an icon doesn't matter which one it is uh, projects 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 what's a good one for projects let's just go the uh the paperclip that one there we go back Menu position, let's put this at 10 so it's around the posts. Uh, we're going to make it so it does support the category. We're also going to make it support the post tags, I think it is. Let's go file, save, OK, WordPress export the theme, it's exported. Now, when we go into our dashboard, sorry. We've got this projects and we can see we can add a new project and it must be uh is it just it's just post tag okay just post tag not post tags save okay export the theme and let's just refresh here we go so tags so now you could create a page we could go file uh, let's go library props project uh, let's open up singular and let's go file save as and you would call this projects uh, dash single let's bring up the hierarchy again Good idea to have this uh, printed out. Whack it up on your uh, dashboard, but for custom post types. So for posts, single post, it is single dash post type. So it is actually um, single dash projects. And 
let's just add in a post. Project one. This is my first project. Set a featured image and we can, we'll use our surfer. And now when we go and view this post, it's loading the index.php. Hmm. <laughs> anyway. File, save, okay, WordPress, export the theme. Anyway, I'll leave that to you to have a play with. Um, I'm going to finish up this video. I'm going to start working on some next more projects. I will endeavor to try and do another few of these using Pine Grow to make it a lot, um, lot more in depth and creating a real custom, we'll make some custom post types. We will make a full custom theme from scratch. And we'll also look at converting some HTMLs sites We'll convert some PSDs. We'll, I'll try, I'm going to try and do a lot more around Pine Grow and WordPress and perhaps the new CMS that Pine Grow is now implementing into Pine Grow so you don't have to use WordPress. Yeah, there's a lot going on. I look forward to bringing you some more tutorials. Thanks very much for joining me. I hope you got a lot out of this. So make sure you hit subscribe sign up for my for future videos and i will see you very soon somewhere on the web slack facebook um hit me up on um in the viva builder facebook group tag me in a post uh, john matha you can find me at the at amity uh, messaging app uh, as john matha add me and I will see you all soon. Once again, thank you for very much for watching and I'll see you soon.